Hey, how's everybody doing? It's time again for one of those bike vlogs. This one is the first of the Ragbri series. I chose to do the last part of my Ragbri training on my Trek 7700 multi track that I restored this winter. It's a great bike because it's a hybrid and I can ride it from my house from the gravel. I did a lot of riding up before Ragbri this year, a lot of last minute training, and I did a lot of sweating because we had a big heat wave come in before Ragbri. As you can see from my shirt in this picture, I was sweating all the way down to my belly button pretty much. It was very hot, and I even told myself I wasn't going to go to Ragbri if it was going to be that hot during Ragbri. But we got lucky, and the weather for Ragbri actually turned out to be very, very nice. I did a lot of my training with my friend Steven Gelsorp from Fort Madison, Iowa. He is a very, very good rider. He's very fast and it was very demanding for me to ride with him, but it was also very good for me. We did a lot of riding. This picture is from a day that we went on the Nauvoo Loop, which is where we left Fort Madison, went to Nauvoo, down to Hamilton through Kilhook, and then back up to Fort Madison and made a complete loop. Of course, we had to stop in Fort Madison for some beer. Right, ladies and gentlemen, 55 miles in, we're almost That's done with correct. the loop. We are celebrating. Cheers. Here's to riding bicycles. Drinking beers and shipping gears. That's right. So here we are. This is the last ride that I did before Ragbri. I was getting my hair cut in Hamilton, and so I decided to just ride from there. It was almost 100 degrees that day. It was very, very, very hot, so I didn't go real far. I still think I went... 15 or 20 miles which was pretty good but I even decided that it's really kind of ridiculous to ride in that kind of heat anyway while I was riding with Steven the last time I rode with him he told me some bad news he told me that our team captain was not going to Ragbri and so I pretty much thought well that's it we're not going to go and as the day went on Steven and I were talking and he kind of talked me into it but he said, why don't we just take your van? I said, I don't know. I don't know if it's good enough to make it. So I took it to the mechanic and had some things done. And I decided that we're going to at least make an attempt, make an effort. Um, my buddy Jonathan was going to drive for us. So we had a driver and we had a vehicle. We had a couple tents. So I talked to Steven some more and we did some last minute preparations. And literally a week before I shined up the van, fixed a bunch of little things that were wrong with it and kind of gave the van a, a new lease on life. I folded down the back bed in the back. It actually worked out to be really cool. So far, this is the first bike vlog that I've done on the um, Trek 7700 hybrid. So one thing you'll notice is the speeds on pavement are definitely going to be a lot faster than they were on the um, Trek X Caliber 8. I like to stop here. This is called Gold's Point or Golden's Point, something like that. Take a little break at this little church. It was just so hot. As soon as you stop, sweat would just pour out of your body. On around again. I was out of water by this point. I had only went about 12 miles and I was already out of water. Whenever it's really hot, I go through two water bottles every 10 miles. Uh, whenever it's normal, moderate conditions I only go through one water bottle every 10 miles. I decided to stop here at Whitey's in Hamilton and refill my water bottles and get refreshed because I had some business to do in Kilcuck so I decided that I was gonna ride over to Kilcuck. Back on the road again this is a crazy fast descent here the problem is there's a stop sign at the bottom of the hill so you can't go your full speed that you really want to go but I always veer to the left here if there's nobody coming and shoot through the parking lot here at Pat's Pit Stop. And this puts me right on the uh, right on the walking path that goes across the uh, bridge. Now, I know some bicyclists don't take the walking path, they take the actual bridge itself with the traffic. I think that is incredibly dangerous and you should not do that. A guy was actually just hit a few months ago doing that very same thing and I rode with a gentleman uh, not too long ago who refused 
to take the walking path. And he took the, the bridge itself. I personally think that's crazy. If you ride across the Kilcook Bridge, take the walking path. But don't ride out there with all that traffic. There's nowhere to go. There's barely anywhere to go on that bridge. And people fly across the bridge because they think it's a, a zone of lawlessness where neither Illinois nor Iowa cops can get them. Everything was pretty well set to go for Ragbri. I had tried to build a standalone shower out of PVC pipe, and I instead decided to just use one of my brewing buckets and just suspend it from the top of the van, which is pretty interesting. You'll see in some of the next vlogs that I'm going to put out, you'll see us, <laughs> you'll see it in action. We needed two things. We needed a place to shower and we needed a place to go to the bathroom. So I built a little portable toilet. This is a, one of my favorite spots here in Rand Park to stop, and sit on the bench and uh, just kind of refresh myself. There's a beautiful view over the Mississippi River here. One of the things I hate about riding in the heat is you soak the inside of your helmet and then when you put your helmet back on the sweats like cold and it's just the most nasty thing but there's really not much you can do about that. That was a rough ride I'm not gonna lie it was just so hot I was ready to be back to the van that's for sure but I knew I needed the training so I decided to tough through it. Time to get on the road again. I definitely was not looking forward to the hill going into Hamilton. At this point, I pretty well had everything ready and planned out for Ragbri. I was very excited that we were going to get to go, for sure, after the confusion. But I invited the guys over the night before, and we smoked a pizza on the grill, which is tradition. I always do that the night before rag bry. If you've never smoked a pizza or grilled a pizza, it's the best. I absolutely love it. And we loaded the van, got everything ready to go, and then we uh, packed the last minute stuff the next morning and headed out. My next video is going to be all about the drive up day, which is a party in and of itself. I like riding across the Kilcuck Bridge going towards Hamilton because it's slightly downhill. You can really pick up a lot of speed. This part right here. You have to be really careful and watch for glass. There's a lot of trash and broken glass in this Hamilton side right here for whatever reason. I've had a flat tire here before. All right, here's the dreaded Hamilton Hill. I sped the camera up here just to show how long it took me to get up that hill. I just had to literally put my bike in its easiest gear and just crank it out. It was just so hot. The heat is my main uh, rob of power when riding a bike. There's something about the heat that just kills my power output. But anyway, here I am rolling up back up to the van. And this was my last ride before Ragbri. The guys came over. We smoked our pizza, had a good time, loaded the van, and took off the next day. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next video.